We're going to take a look at the Kraft CTM or Kraft Tailored Motion Ultra Carbon, which should release early in 2021. A price is still uh, to be determined. So it's an ultra marathoning shoe for both road and trail. It weighs 9.88 ounces, 280 grams in my US 9. The key features are called out on the on the heel. We have an ultra carbon plate, a very light mesh upper, and what they call vault foam, which is an EVA with a chemical compound that gives it lots of rebound, but still is very, very stable. The outsole is a uh, full contact carbon rubber, uh, which is designed for multiple surfaces. With great assistance from Tommy Rives, who is both an excellent on road marathoner and ultra marathoner. The Carbon Ultra is clearly a high drop shoe. As you can see, I measure uh, over 40 at the heel. Um, the popcorn insole, which has lots of springiness, actually sits down probably five or six millimeters. And you can see the forefoot is at about 30 millimeters. So this is a, a very steep ramp down and it feels just great on the road. Uh, you'll feel a, a rolling sensation forward uh, and no shock or harshness from the plate in my run so far. As far as the upper, it's an engineered mesh um, with uh, a single layer uh, with a lot of ventilation. It's kind of ruggedized. Um, it's pliable. It's not particularly soft, but it's very comfortable. The tongue has sort of spacer elements similar to maybe a hydration vest. We have padding around the Achilles collar, and we also have uh, a... a a gusseted tongue, which um, helps lock the foot in with the excellent lacing. The, the full contact outsole has about three millimeter lugs and it's proved amazingly silent on the road. Of course, it also gripped well on the beach. I think this is an outsole in addition to, to its great performance on road that'll be great on hard pack, uh, dirt roads, gravel, and smoother single track. Okay, we've got the CTM Carbon Ultra. We're here on the New Hampshire seacoast. It's a beautiful, beautiful late afternoon. So let's talk about fit. So I'm a half size up from my normal eight and a half at a nine. And what I'm feeling is it's pretty close to true to size, half size up, but with a heavier smart wool sock. Uh, the only thing I might feel uh, is a bit off is the heel's a bit loose at half size up. However, I think for ultra distances, they may run a bit uh, small with your feet swelling. There's plenty, plenty of room in the toe box. So with thinner socks, I probably would go true to size here. Uh, the lace-up's been super easy. You can see the laces are kind of a, a, a dense, if you will, uh, flat, very effective. Uh, you pull them through uh, with a bit of difficulty, but boy, they've stayed just completely put. The upper, this engineered mesh, oh, it's hard to see, but it is kind of uh, dense, if you will, very well vent ventilated, holds the foot super well here. Uh, there are just a few overlays. I think there's one right in here, maybe, uh, but otherwise none. Um, okay, and the ride, I'm going to talk about the ride later, but simply amazing. A ton of cushion here. I'm estimating well over or close to 40 millimeters of stack uh, in the heel. Uh, complete, the carbon plate is completely masked in harshness, but has a long, easy roll to toe off. It's definitely, definitely felt. Uh, they feel very stable here on the road. Uh, there's plenty, plenty of cushioning here. Uh, two shoes that immediately come to mind are the Tempo Next from Nike, which uses that giant pod here. We have that long, smooth, carbon plate and the endorphin shift from Saucony. Here uh, I feel we have a, about equivalent cushioning. It has more rebound as uh, Kraft said. Uh, the EVA blend has an additive that's supposed to add more rebound. I'm definitely feeling it. It's more rebound than Power Run uh, but it's not a full TPU kind of bouncy bouncy. So it's just about right for uh, long runs and training and racing. One other thing, and I'll show you a picture of it now. Pretty amazed, the outsole completely silent, which indicates to me the geometry is really good. The smoothness of the toe off is excellent. I am pretty sure this is a high, high drop shoe. We're getting the actual numbers. 
but it's a good 10 millimeters anyway, maybe more. And that pushes me or gets me kind of forward onto the uh, uh, front of the shoe with the plate not kind of popping up against my toes. It just works very well with the toes, that split carbon, uh, ultra carbon plate. Uh, I can feel my big toe pushing off, uh, torquing, if you will, from the lateral side to toe off. Really, really nice. So this is definitely, definitely a racing shoe for smooth trail, very smooth trail ultras and road. And I would say it's going to be one heck of a daily trainer as well. My pace, I'm well under nine minutes. After a fairly hard run yesterday and just moving right along nice and smooth. So I'm going to sum up after I get done. Wow, I wish I could take back my daily trainer of the year. I think this may be it. I found at slower paces, 930 miles per mile, they were just as good as at sort of my lighter tempo, 840s, and I think they can really fly when you really get going. Um, so they're an incredible new shoe. Uh, they're not going to be uh, inexpensive, but there's a lot of craftsmanship. Uh, craft tailored motion. You got tailor, you got craft. This is just a beautifully executed new shoe from craft. I might also, uh, thinking about other comparisons, it's not as soft bouncy at the heel as the Fuel Cell TC from New Balance, and the front plate isn't as harsh as the New Balance. Uh, I found it was easier to run slower in this than in the TC, and just about as easy to run fast. Uh, the other one that comes to mind is the uh, Carbon X from Hoka with a five millimeter drop, but we, I think we have considerably more here. They always felt kind of flat to me, and their fork plate sort of pushed my toes up instead of driving me forward. So I think this is this uh, execution here, maybe a second generation of the carbon plated, uh, more trainer oriented shoe, uh, is really marvelous. Now, what would I like to see? Well, I'd like to see uh, Kraft try to do what New Balance did between the TC and the RC, and essentially do the same thing with a considerably lighter foam uh same kind of ride uh and of course if it was purely a road shoe uh slim down the outsole which would save weight however um as an all-around shoe with great versatility this one really is pretty darn special we're going to have a full review with john tribia out in colorado he's going to push him real hard real soon thank you very much for watching have a happy new year and we hope you'll also consider subscribing to our channel